it's Miranda. Today I'm going to show you how I curl my hair and I'm also going to review the Beach Waver curling iron for you. So keep watching. First I'm just going to take my hair out of the ponytail. And then brush it out. separate it into two layers, do a bottom layer and a top layer. Um, but with the beach waver, I don't have to do that, so that's super cool. The beach waver has been a lot faster for me since I started using it. So I turned it on. I have it on 390. And then I'm just going... I just put this side in a ponytail just to get it out of the way. So once your curling iron heats up, I start from the back and I take about one inch sections and you use the clamp that goes onto the very end of your hair. And it doesn't clamp the whole thing so you don't get a crease in it, which is awesome. And pull it to the end. And then there's buttons that rotate it for you. And one problem that I had with the wand when I would use it is that my arms would get so tired from holding it above my head and making sure the, the hair stays on it. Um, with this motor, when it turns it for you, it makes it super easy. So you let it go. And I just flip that into the back. And then I take another one inch section and I go the opposite way. So that one went backwards, this one's going to go forwards. And then you just hold the button and rotate it. I hold it on there for literally five seconds. It is so quick. Um, my wand, I used, I had the new me, um, I think one inch or one and a quarter inch wand and it took forever to finish my hair. So you see how those come out. Pull it to the end of your hair. And what's cool is there is a fast and a slow setting. So you can rotate it faster or slower depending on how you like it. Right now I have it on the slow. Um, it's been fast enough for me, so I haven't gone on the fast setting. I was very indecisive on buying this curling iron um, because it is it does retail for $129 or you can get the Pro, the Beach Waver Pro for $199. Um, I didn't get the Pro, I just got the basic model, but so far it has been absolutely worth the money. Um, it has cut my the time it takes to curl my hair in half and I like the way it looks a million times better. So I just keep switching between backwards and forwards. <clears throat> and you can be kind of messy with it. I especially like the messy wave look. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect.
how it comes out. And then I spray it. I have the Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray. I just got it from Ulta. Spray all over. And I just throw that in the back. And I do the same exact thing to the other side. Same exact thing for this layer. Just switch between forward and backwards. And then just spray this with hairspray. And then I just run my fingers through it to make it look a little bit more messy. Right. And then once I get to this point, I will recurl any pieces that didn't really hold their shape that well, like this one. Recurl 
this. And then I like to use the IGK Speechless Dry Oil Finishing Spray for hair and body on my hair just to make it look a little healthier. And it smells really, really good. Okay, and that is how my hair turns out. Um, it falls a little bit throughout the day to make it a little less um, tight, but I do love how it turns out and it's so much easier with the Beach Waver. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, it is a little bit more pricey than normal curling wands, but overall it has been completely worth the money to me. Um, I don't, in my, I haven't tried the Beach Waver Pro, but in my opinion, just, just the basic model works perfectly fine. Um, so I definitely recommend investing one of these. It is a lifesaver. Um, and now I, I love curling my hair. I used to hate curling my hair, but it has made it so much easier um, since I got it. So definitely recommend. So, yes. Hope this helped, guys. Bye.